So we've stood for the rule of law, for law and order. And from day one, I'm proud to report here at Central Christian University, President Donald Trump has stood every day for the religious freedom of every American of every faith. From early on in this administration, our president has reaffirmed our commitment to our first freedom. He took action to protect the conscience rights of doctors and nurses and teachers and religious charities. And President Donald Trump ended the assault of the last administration on the little sisters of the poor. And not long ago, the Supreme Court of the United States made it permanent by a seven to two vote. Now, you all deserve to know that when, when Joe Biden was vice president, the last administration literally hauled the little sisters of the poor into federal court to force them to compromise their faith, to live under the new mandates of Obamacare. But under this president, I promise you, we've stood for religious liberty every single day, and we're going to keep standing for the freedom of religion of every American of every faith for four more years. And as we speak about our values, I can't tell you how proud I am to serve as vice president to a president who stands without apology for the sanctity of human life. President Donald Trump is the most pro-life president in American history.